Hello everyone! I really just have been pretty stressed out when it comes to YouTube, so I thought let's switch it up. I've been racking my brain about views, numbers, blah blah blah, and we're just gonna make do with what we have right now and try and change the vibes of how I feel. Create a very relaxed, fun video where I can just talk to you guys and get ready with you guys. It feels like we're just on FaceTime almost. Not care about the fucking numbers, because I'm over it. And a lot of you guys sent me such nice comments on my past couple videos and shorts and stuff, so couldn't ask for anything more, truly. After that long explanation, we are going to be doing a little get ready with me. I've gotten some new products, and specifically what inspired this is the new Laura Mercier line. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Ooh, I have not anywhere to go at the moment. I'm seeing my boyfriend later, but we're binge watching Vampire Diaries, and I think that's what our plan is gonna be tonight. So I'm getting cute for me. I also asked you guys to leave me some questions because I feel like I haven't interacted a lot with you guys in a while, and I wanted to do that. So, next time that happens, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where you guys are gonna be able to ask me questions and yeah. My hair is one thing that I probably will not be touching today only because I just last week straightened my hair and I don't want to put heat on it again. I'm gonna take the Laneige Gummy Bear Lip Glowy Balm. You know, there's been a huge hype about this and I never got it until recently, so. How do you handle negativity that crosses your mind every now and then? Love you, by the way. Love you too. Before I answer, this is also something new that I received. The Ilya face, sorry, base face milk. Honestly, for me, unfortunately, and I don't know if it's because I experience a lot of anxiety or have experienced a lot of like mental health challenges within my life, but I think that I tend to lean to the more negative side easier than most. And that just might be the way that your brain was wired, the way you grew up, the way that your childhood was like. So don't feel bad about it if you're like me. I think there's ways to train your brain into starting to believe more positive things. And the first step comes with being aware of what you do when you feel negative and when you start to think negatively and then take the steps to shift it to a more positive mindset. And that's definitely what I've been doing lately is becoming way more conscious of it and trying my best to change the way that I look at things and to change my perspective on certain things. One, for example, being YouTube. I just talked about it in the beginning, how it's become really challenging when it comes to like views and numbers and how much it matters to me when I was younger and I was kind of doing it as a hobby, it didn't matter as much to me because I wasn't reliant on it. Now that I am, there's a lot more pressure on it and it really changes the way you look at something that was once brought you a lot of joy and happiness and now kind of has an, another meaning to it. Okay, I'm gonna try the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Applicator's crazy. I don't know how much I'm gonna put on. I did test it out on my hand and it has a really like velvety texture. Basically, I feel like it has much more of a matte finish and I might have put too much, but good thing it does have a very lightweight texture. It needs, I think, a sponge to blend it in. Cause you know how sometimes products look a little bit um, like streaky. Why am I doing a product review right now? I don't know. Okay, I like that it feels like nothing. What are your favorite books to read? Now let me tell you something, okay? I wish I was a book reader. I wish I was a woman of the culture of books. I don't read books that often, although I truly, truly wish I did. I'm more of a self-help book girl because I need help. When times are tough, I'll read a lot, which is kind of like stupid because it's like, okay, you should keep up with that. And I will, trying but I read more when my mental health isn't doing as good. Guilty! Let me show you the book that I started over the summer, haven't finished, but give me a sec. Power of Now, a beautiful book. It is so like, wows me every time I read another chapter. I'm only this like halfway into it, which is embarrassing with how long I've been reading it for. But it's like, I take breaks when I read it because it's like, I almost just want to absorb the content of it and the influence of it. Yeah, basically it's about the concept of living in the present, the concept of being conscious of yourself, your thoughts, the way you control your reality. A lot deeper than how I'm explaining it, truly. All right, um, what do I do? Do you guys normally do blush first or concealer first? Because sometimes I don't know. I think I'm gonna do... Uh, 
Um, let me do blush first. This is also part of the Laura Mercier thing. It is the tinted moisturizer in blush. By the way, this isn't sponsored. They just sent it to me. So I want to see. I want to like, want to know what it's all like. All right. Someone said, how did you and Dante meet? P.S. You guys are really cute together. Oh, thank you so much. Um, this is in the color Southbound. Not to self promote, but I'm going to do it. I have a podcast episode out with him where we talk like so in depth about how we met and how it all began. We met from... I guess mutual friends, but physically at the gym was the first time I saw him. From knowing the same people, we ended up being in conversation together and then we just started speaking from there way more often. You wanna know something crazy? At the beginning, I was just kinda chilling. I was like, okay, cute guy. I didn't think anything of it until one day I looked at him different and I don't know. You know, it's, a, it's like a concept I can't truly explain. I physically, my eyes, looked at him from across the gym and I said, wait a second, I think I'm in love. And then from that point forward, I had already known, you know, in the past, because I heard from these mutual friends that he said, Alex is so beautiful. Since I already knew that, I was like, okay, let me, let me see what this guy's got to offer. Very unserious, very, you know, just fun loving vibes. And, and one thing led to another and I'm here. We just celebrated our anniversary earlier this month, so. I just put so much blush on because I was talking for so long. Now I look so shy. Good thing I decided to put this blush on before I did my concealer so that I can tone it down a little. How to overcome gym anxiety. While I answer, I got this, which I've used one time, Buxom Powerline Lasting Eyeliner. So it's got this little brush. I love a smoky little liner, which is what I'm gonna do. I think when it comes to the gym, it is so extremely daunting, so I do not blame you. I was so nervous. I didn't feel comfortable at all. I didn't wanna use the machines. I wanted to stay in the little room and do free weight the whole time. One thing I can say that I'm proud of myself for is expanding and feeling much more comfortable at the gym. It took me time and I think time is the answer and don't push yourself to go up to the fucking bench presses and start bench pressing your first day because lord knows I still don't even bench press so like I'm not gonna do that. It's just one of those things where you need to give yourself grace, give yourself patience because it's not a thing to just feel 1000% comfortable with. If it's your first time at the gym it's just not really realistic, you know? One thing that really helped me was having a gym buddy, which was my sister. Having her with me really made my life a lot easier. There's confidence in numbers and also both of us being kind of like in our learning stage together and figuring things out together made it a lot easier. One thing about me is that I just, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at getting my eyeliners to match. How are you, Alex, and how is Milo? <laughs> I love you for asking me that. Milo is doing amazing. I love him. I love him. I'm obsessed with him. Everything about me is because of him. He's doing great. My oh my god, it's his birthday tomorrow. January 21st. He's turning 10. So he's an old guy, but he's still got all the energy, all the love, and everything in him. And as for me, I'm doing okay. You know, there are some things that are challenging in life, but that, as a matter of fact, just is how life is. You know, I've learned a lot in my years, in my 24 years, and I have the tools to cope with the things that are going on with me in my life. The challenges, the, you know, career things, the little existential crisis things, they come and they go, and I have really beautiful, happy, peaceful moments, and then I have more moments where I feel like I'm a little more negative, a little more in a slump. It all comes down to my mindset. So when I give myself a chance to focus on like helping my mindset, changing my mindset, I go to therapy, I just had a therapy appointment last week. Um, things like that just really help me to hone back in on paying attention to living presently and then also feeling, you know, more in control of where I choose to focus my attention. Someone also asked how to get out of a slump and that's also going to be my answer for that is focusing in on my mentality and how I choose to see my life, the world, my relationships, my career. Everything is based on how I choose to see things because it's really just up to your own interpretation, everything. So it's like, how do you choose to want to experience things? And do you want to feel happier on a day to day? Do you want to focus in on the shit parts? Do you want to enjoy the things that you have in your life? Or do you want to just 
keep searching for things that you don't have. So this is the Real Flawless uh, Weightless Perfecting Concealer. It's my first time in a long time using a different concealer. I'm sure all of you guys know my one true love, the NARS Creamy Concealer. Someone asked me how to begin posting if you want to create content without being embarrassed. If you guys are long-term viewers, you'll know that I started YouTube with one of my best friends, Margo, who started YouTube at the same time as me. So it was like, once again, power in numbers, confidence in numbers, I felt like almost just like cool. Like I was like, damn, I'm kind of cool. Like no one else is doing this. Definitely a very different outlook to today because as we all know, the social media world is very saturated now. So it's like you almost won't ever not meet a person that does social media or is attempting to do social media or anything along those lines. So it's like at this point, just do it. I think like the fear and the embarrassment aspect of it will subside with time. And you know, if you're worried about the people who follow you already being like, what the hell is she posting? Like, why is she doing this? Then literally do one of these and don't don't mind it, don't care about it because half the people you probably follow or who follow you, you don't really give a shit about respectfully. You have to just be okay with some people not being 100% in love with what you do, but then you will find the people that do. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I love this concealer. It definitely is more on the less coverage side, but it's still, it's still, it's, you know, can't speak, but it still has its coverage. You're so positive and happy and I love it. How do you do this life thing? Okay, let me tell you guys something while we do my eyebrows and I don't have an eyebrow pencil, unfortunately, because I lost it. With that being said, I'm taking brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows and I used to do this when I was younger because it worked for me, so. How am I so positive? I want you guys to know something if it's not clear and maybe that's how it looks if you're not constantly watching the vlogs or constantly tuned into like everything I post, which is fair enough, but I'm so not the most positive person in the world. I wish I was, I wish I could be more of, and I'm honestly just like working towards it, like I mentioned before, to be that type of positive energy, but it's like, God, how difficult is that? Sometimes I will be in my rut. Sometimes I will be in like this harder parts of life and you know, it happens to me quite frequently. I don't want to give you guys the impression that I'm living this like perfectly happy world because maybe it looks like that. I don't really know. I don't see my content from an outside perspective of not actually knowing myself. So it's like, do I give the impression that I'm always so like happy and jolly and experiencing like joys of life? Maybe. I don't want to give you guys that unrealistic perspective because understand that life is more about the mundane parts and the calm parts and the peaceful parts than it is about the crazy adventures and the new experiences and da da da. Obviously that's a beautiful part of life, but no one's really experiencing that 24 seven. We're all experiencing the, okay, I have to do my laundry. Oh, I have to do the dishes. I need to get my work done for today. But I do really appreciate and love the positive parts of my life. So I'm not saying like my life is shit whatsoever, but it's just important to note that that's not my whole existence. And if I don't share that enough, I'm sorry because <laughs> I don't know why I feel like it's important to know like my life is not, doesn't look as cool as maybe I make it look. So don't compare it to you and be like, oh my gosh, she's doing this, she's doing that. Yeah, because I'm filming a fucking video and how boring would it be if I was in my bed all day doing nothing, which is sometimes what I do. So anyways, I don't have a cure. <laughs> I don't have a reason that I am more positive other than practicing it. Anyways, I'm taking the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I think we're done. Oh wait, from my lips. This is the long lasting color lip marker. Anyways, this looks pretty good. The only problem is if you have dry lips, it will literally stick onto the dry patch of your lips for the rest of the day. So it's like, be aware. I'm gonna take this, put it back on top and we're good to go. Sorry I didn't answer that many questions. I was just yapping away the whole time. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching this, I know that it's not because the title was super like, oh my God, I need to watch it. It's so exciting. It's because you want to talk to me. You want to hear what I have to say. So I appreciate it. Comment whatever you'd like down below because I always answer comments. So I feel like it's a fun place to chit chat, but I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, maybe leave me some video ideas. I don't know. I may take them into consideration. I may not. <laughs> YouTube's been a tricky space for me, like I said. Love you all so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, your morning, your evening, your afternoon, and thank you for being here with me. Okay? Bye. Love you all.